Welcome to Module 3, Lesson 17. Today we'll be learning how to identify patterns using the multiplication table. We'll know that we're successful when we can make connections between multiplication and division using the multiplication table. For this lesson, we want to know what is odd and even? Odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Here is a multiplication table. Are the products in orange squares odd or even? Answer, the products are even because they all end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Now look at the product for the factors 2 and 1. The factors are listed along the top or down the side. So the product of 2 or 1. So we can look at the 2 here and the 1 here and see where they connect. The product of 1 times 2, or 2 times 1, is 2. Is that odd or even? Answer, the product is even. Are the factors 2 and 1 odd or even? One is odd, and two is even. Look at the even products in the orange squares. Are the factors odd or even? Let's pick one. Let's look at 6. The factors are 3 and 2. 2 is even, 3 is odd. How about 6? The factors are 1 and 6. 6 is even, 1 is odd. How about 16? The factors are 2 and 8. 2 is even and 8 is even. How about 8? The factors are 4 and 2. 2 is even and 4 is even. What pattern are you noticing? Yes, the factors are either both even or one is odd and the other is even. But the product is always even. So we can say an even number times an even number equals even and an odd number times an even number equals even. That's a rule. Anytime you multiply an even times an even, you get an even. Or if you multiply an odd times an even, you get an even number. Okay, this time we're going to look at the odd products. The odd products are in the white squares. Are the factors odd or even? So let's choose one. Let's look at five. 
the factors are 5 and 1. Both are odd. How about 3? The factors are 1 and 3. Both odd again. How about 27? The factors are 3 and 9. Both of those factors are odd. Let's try one more. How about 35? The factors are 5 and 7, and both of those factors are 7. Do you notice a pattern here? Yes, both factors are always odd. So here's another rule right down here at the bottom. The new rule is odd times odd always equals odd. So anytime you multiply an odd number times an odd number, you get another odd number. The product of 7 times 4 equals 28. 7 times 4 equals 28. Jamie says that 7 times 4 is equal to the sum of 5 times 4 and 2 times 4. Is she correct? So to find the sum of 5 times 4 plus 2 times 4, we need to first find the product for each expression or equation. So how can we find 5 times 4? We would find 5 and 4 and see where the two meet. The product would be 20. What about 2 times 4? 2 times 4 equals 8. So we have 20 and 8. We're going to add those together. 20 plus 8 equals 28. So yes, 5 times 4 equals 20, and 2 times 4 equals 8. 20 plus 8 equals 28. So she is correct. The product of 6 times 5 equals 30. 6 times 5 equals 30 because that's where they meet on the multiplication table. Corey says that 12 times 5 is equal to the sum of 6 times 5 plus 6 times 5. Is she correct? And how do you know? Well, in this case, 12 is not on the multiplication e table. So Corey would have to break it apart. She broke it apart into two sixes because 6 plus 6 equals 5. So she can use a distributive property to say that 6 times 5 plus 6 times 5 is the same as 12 times 5. So what's 6 times 5? 6 times 5 equals 30. 30 plus 30 equals 60. So we know that 6 times 5 plus 6 times 5 equals 30. That means that 12 times 5 must equal 60. Answer. Yes, she's correct. The table doesn't include 12 as a factor. I know that 12 equals 6 plus 6, so 12 times 5 equals 6 times 5 plus 6 times 5. The table shows that 6 times 5 equals 30, so 12 times 5 equals 30 plus 30, or 60. Okay, now you know how to use the multiplication table. You're going to use, read the right, redraw right question yourself. Draw a picture to help you solve the problem. Then you're going to write the answer as a sentence. You can pause the video 
and then go to the description box below to find the correct answer and compare it to your own. Do your very best work and I'll see you in the next lesson.